Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Max Edson, co-founder of Price. I'm going to walk you through our search page today. As you can see, we start out with a nice, clean, simple layout for you where you can type uh, state, county, or city right off the bat. In all instances, we'll return results at the county level. So if you search a state, we're going to pull in all the counties in that state. If you search a county, we're going to pull in that county. And if you search a city, we do something unique where we're going to pinpoint that city draw a 150 mile radius by default, and I'll show you how to change that in a little bit, and then we'll pull in all the counties that touch that radius. So you can start pinpointing certain buyer pools or areas that you've deemed as, as good places to locate and find all the counties around there. So it really is as easy as coming in here, picking a county or whatever you wanna go, finding one, selecting it, and then searching. Now, if you wanna do more than one option at the same time, we have this really cool multi-search feature where you can just click the plus here and you'll see it drop down and I can select another county and it doesn't even have to be in the same state. It can be any other county you want. I can click it, add it to my list, and then you can see it says multi-search here just so you can search those. And we have the ability to search up to 100 different counties at one time right now. So I can keep going down the list. Let's say there's five counties in Colorado that I wanna search. Um, I can type in specific counties there, look at it, and just keep adding them down to the list. So it, uh, it's a really cool feature to pinpoint which ones you want to look at all at one time. Now, if I want to do state, I can do states at the same time as well. It's good to know that you can only do like and like when you're adding together. So if I click state, I can't do a county in this. Um, they, they need to be either counties or states or cities, but they can't mix and match. So that's a good thing to know. But for right now, we're gonna start with San Bernardino County, show you how this looks. And again, if you wanna do a simple search, I can click that. But if I wanted to get into the more granular details, all I gotta do is click our advanced search and now you can see everything we have to offer. And this is really cool. So we have the ability to pull in any certain or any sort of filter from data tree. So uh, as our license provider, we can look and see all their advanced search criteria, and we could pull those in and that's what you're seeing here. So we have start off our land characteristics, our min and max acreage. So let's say I only want to search um, no, no less than five acres and no more than let's say 50 acres. And an acreage increment, this is a unique button that we've added. So obviously different acres have different price ranges and different price points. So we give you the ability to locate those and search in our results page and, and provide you those results in different acre increments. So let's say I put five here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you results from five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, all the way up to 50. Um, and I can easily change that if I wanna look at this whole, whole um, acreage range at one time. All I gotta do is put a number that's greater in this range and it'll change that. And if I wanted to search in one acre increments, I just can change it like that. And so I'll get offer prices on different acreage ranges um, if I put different numbers in here. So if I, if I have one right here, what we're gonna see is five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, and so on all the way to 50. So you can get as granular or as uh, large as you want in that, which is a really cool feature to have. Um, then moving down the list, what we have min price per acre, max price per acre, these are all the market values that we're gonna look at. So the min price per acre is, is the market value that we're gonna see. So if, let's say you wanna target areas where the min market price per acre is uh, no less than 5,000. I could put that in here, uh, as simple as that. And then let's say I, I wanna max that out at 15,000 as my market price per acre. I can do that so I can start um, finiting that search criteria and honing in on the places where I wanna go and we can put in where we want or just one or the other. Each one of these is, is totally optional. You don't have to put anything if you don't want, um, which is a really cool feature. So moving forward, radius around city. Now this is only needed if you put a city. So if I went back to up to the search criteria here, let's say I put in Los Angeles um, and selected that. Now it's going to default to 150 mile radius, but if I wanted to change that, I can do that here. So let's say I, I wanted to pull in all the counties around Los Angeles within a 75 mile radius. And if I click that, what's going to happen is I'm gonna pull in all the counties now that touch that radius. So I get all the, the counties around there that are close to dense hubs where there could be bigger buying pools. And so now I could start locating bigger economic stimulus areas um, and, and different areas where I've deemed that are, are good places to search. 
Um, and again, if I wanted just the default, I don't have to click anything and it'll just locate that 150 mile radius from that city, uh, which is a cool thing to have there. And now what we have moving forward is our min price per acre or min purchase price and max purchase price. So this gives you the idea of, let's say you wanted to buy a parcel only between a certain range. So you, you didn't want to spend any more than $10,000 on a parcel. Uh, when you're buying this and this is the offer price purchase and let's say you also don't want to buy anything less than 5,000 you can kind of narrow down your search here by clicking 5,000 or let's say I want to put 10,000 so now when you click search we're going to provide you results that meet that criteria right in here so we're going to we're going to that offer price that total offer price is going to meet somewhere in that range and let's say you want more of a holistic view we also have this estimated transaction cost filter where um, if you put something in here, let's say we put $1,000, what we're saying is that uh, uh, obviously buying the parcel is just one part of the cost, but then you have title fees, uh, you have some other miscellaneous costs, and then marketing costs. So this gives you a more holistic picture of how much you're actually going to be spending. So if you like that, you can input $1,000, let us say that's going to be your total cost and now what's going to happen is we're going to adjust this 10,000 range so we're going to look for places only 5,000 to 9,000 and so in total you're going to spend no more than 10,000 so that's what it does just gives you a more holistic approach of what you're trying to buy and how much you're going to be spending in total um, so right now I'm going to leave that blank I'm going to put these back to normal and then I'm going to look I'm going to try to Put that to five and now i'm going to look at my land uses so these are all the land uses we currently have right now uh, we have a lot of the vacant rural land plus some agricultural land and you have the ability to come in and pick and choose let's say i want to unselect them all and click them as i go i can do that or i can go and select them all and let's say i want to uncheck some that i want i can easily do that and we're always adding more land uses in here um, that's what we're trying to do again we have all, all the different land uses that data tree has and we're going to keep adding them as we go so this is what we have right now if you have any suggestions please make sure to let us know uh, right now i'm going to keep them all like that and we're going to move down to our owner filters now this is where we can start targeting different people that we want to mail and this is where we can get a more effective mailer where we're, we're targeting people maybe out of state um, or out of county um, or if they're even part of the owner or if they're corporate owned or if they say hey don't mail me we can start looking into all these different options to optimize our mailer making sure that it's hitting right and we're getting the most effective um, numbers out of it and so again if you if you don't want to um, any corporate owned properties I can select that let's say you want to make sure that people are um, whoever are saying that they don't want solicited I can select that um, and then in-state, out-of-state owners, I can do anything in county. For this one, I'm going to do, let's say I want to do, I just want to exclude people in the county. Um, or I can do only include the people in the county. We give you both options here. So I'm going to include all. And then I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to exclude everyone in state. So I'm going to mail all the people whose mailing addresses are different in a different state than where I'm going to um, mail that parcel. So I'm going to leave it like that. We do give you the option to have just absentee owner. I'm gonna leave that blank right now. Um, and then we also do mailing zip code as well. So you give you have different levels of granular searching here, again, at the zip code level, the parcel level, the county level, or at the state level. So whatever you wanna do right now, I'm gonna do it out of state. So I'm gonna select that and keep moving forward. So the next one we have is assessor tax filters. And, and so we have assessed improvement value. So of course we're, we're working with vacant rural land, but sometimes people build stuff on that even though it's still classified as land uh, and they add some improvements. So to make sure that there's no crazy structures on it, you can put in whatever you want in here. If you want just straight uh, rural land that the, the county assessor still has on as record, you can just put zeros on there. And so we're gonna filter everything out that has improved percent value on there or let's say you're okay with small structures, um, so you can put 20%, that's totally up to you. Um, and, and I'm gonna leave it at 20 right now and make sure that I'm, I'm okay with small structures but don't want anything big. Um, and then moving forward, we have this census tract filter. Now this is a cool filter because uh, just kind of how I was mentioning earlier, we provide all of our results at the county level and we'll look at the county level as a whole. 
But this filter in particular will allow you to exclude everything else and look at one specific census tract. Uh, and so if I drop this down, all I gotta do is say census tract is, type in my census tract, and then now we're gonna look at that one census tract in particular. Uh, actually, and now uh, conversely, I can also say, if, if I'm looking at one county in particular, but I know there's an area that's just way overvalued or I don't wanna hit, I can actually say census tract is not and then put in another value. So we give you a little bit of flexibility, even though we search at a whole county level to pinpoint specific census tracts or exclude certain census tracts. Right now I'm gonna say no census tract and I'm gonna move on to the last one, which is our sale information filter, last sales date. Now this is a cool filter because I can say, hey, uh, when was the last transaction date for these parcels? If I want to exclude everyone that bought in the last five years, I can do that by just dropping down and saying last sales date is before, and then selecting the date, going down to the date, moving back to the 15th, and then I can go wherever we want. Um, and so now I'm going to pick and filter out everything that's happened in the last five years. So I'm only looking at the all the parcels that have met or have had transacted before the five year mark. And again, I want to check everything in here, making sure it's right. So minimum five acres, max 50, and you can see that it's rounded to 49.99 right here. If you want a clean 50, all you got to do is add a 0 0.01, click out of this box, and you'll see 50. Now this is because of our increment ranges that you'll notice, but um, all you got to look at this to make sure you're hitting that exact 50. And so once you're okay with everything, it's really as easy as click and search. And what we're doing is we're grabbing all the data tree results in the back end. And once that happens, we're going to look at everything. Uh, it's going to pull in all the data and we're going to see all the results available. And it's as simple as that.